These bags, I've just seen them, they look like pearls. They look really nice. It's actually quite a cool design. So we're in Harrods and we've come to have a look today at Dior, at Chanel. I need to get a new camera and I wanna get some more of these Dior trainers because I've worn these out. I still wanna keep them, they're very comfortable, but I just like a new pair. And I'm with David who is wearing his very nice jumper that I got him. He's carrying my bag for me very kindly that I got him for Christmas. <laughs> this is all quite nice. More kind of loungewear, cashmere items. Hats. Let's get to the real stuff because we all know what we're here for really. Super brands, let's go. Well, that's 50%. Is that real? Yes. Don't buy real. I've got the worst hair today because I'm going to the hairdresser a bit later and I've just scraped it back and it just looks basically terrible. That's actually quite a good look. <laughs> That's one of my most used bags. That bag's really good. It fits so much stuff. And this colour just goes with so many different things. Okay, back to filming where it's Fendi. Here we go. Oh, that's the new Bobby bag. I'll show everyone that actually when we get in. I think Anne Lee's in today. I told him that I would pop by. This is the full collection, some of it. Um, you might. I feel like this print is quite synonymous with the full collection and there's lots of cardigans in it so there's like a cardigan there and another one here very nice gown and then there's lots of this check as well so that's a bar jacket these I've seen these on and these look lovely these leather trousers and I think this is also full I'm pretty sure some of it's winter This is really nice. I hope you can see it. This is the Dior Light, Lady Dior Light, and it's got sparkly gold thread through it. And then these are some of my favorites. I really like this design. It's quite fresh. Uh, this is a book tote. I think this is the smaller size. And then you can also get, these are some of the, um, the designs that go with it as well as these belts. Here is the main event though. This is more of the winter collection. It's not all out yet. That's that reversible sweater I showed you earlier. Scarves. I think this is a hoodie version of that uh, sweater. Some of the hats. This is the, you know the 30 Montaigne range is all houndstooth. This puffer jacket, this is reversible as well. So it's got like a plain uh, black dark blue on the inside and the monogram on the outside. If I just show you there. So for any of you who really like your logos, <laughs> you might want to take a look at that. This cape jacket as well. And then over here.
I'm going to try on a couple of things. There was one thing I really wanted to try on, but they don't actually have it in stock. It was a jumpsuit version of this. And let me tell you, the jumpsuit version of this is really nice. So this is all from the winter collection. And th a couple of things that I thought some of you might be interested in seeing are the jumpers. Because I don't know about you, but because, you know, because of this whole situation, I'm certainly not going out as much as I once was. And I'm finding that at home I'm wearing more relaxed things, particularly now it's getting colder. So I'm going to try on these two. This one is actually reversible. So if you don't like this print, it's, um, what is it? It's kind of navy blue on the inside. I'll show you in one sec. And then this one's quite nice. I have one of these jumpers already. They're very thick cashmere and they're quite, um, they're quite nice and warm. Oh, I can't begin to tell you how soft this is. So yeah, I thought I'd just try on these items and then this on the back has got the Christian Dior logo there. So here we have the first. This is actually, um, she said two sizes too big, but they don't have any smaller sizes, but actually I don't mind it. I think it's quite nice like this. I don't know though, what do you think? Maybe a bit more fitted would be okay. Cause sometimes I think when you wear stuff that's really oversized and boxy, it can actually make you feel, make you look bigger. That is it from behind. I think I told you earlier, I'm getting my hair done in a couple of hours and that's why it's slicked back and disgusting <laughs> at the moment, but yeah. So first jumper is this. I actually really like this. And I know this is something, the one that I already have, I wear so much um, when I'm at home. And I know that I would wear this a lot as well. So I think I might actually get this, but I think I'll probably get it in the smaller size. And this one is 1,500, just for anyone interested. The other one, it's like 2,000, but I think it's because it's kind of two jumpers in one. Here is the second one. This way, I, I like a logo, but this is a bit much for me, but I thought I would show it for any of you. I thought I'd show it for any of you who perhaps want to see it. I don't know why this light is making this look yellowy and the monogram look black and it's not. It's kind of navy blue. When you reverse it, so this is what it looks like. And then obviously you've got the monogram on the inside. I think it's quite nice that you've got the option of both. If you're having a more daring day, you could wear it with the monogram. And if you wanna be a bit more relaxed, you can wear it um, like this. And then that is the view from the back. And then this is the dress. I actually can't believe it. It's a bit big on the waist. Um, my peloton is paying off but yeah this is it I it's I've just left my trousers on with it because I'm being a bit lazy but it feels like that kind of scuba material but slightly more grainy than that I'm hoping so you can see from there it's kind of what it's like Anne Lee's just show me these boots and I tried them on and they're actually really nice, but I tried them on with that dress and that dress, by the way, all didn't look good. Um, I think that it, it was, didn't fit, which didn't help. Anyway, I'm going to try these on with my outfit because I'm kind of, I want to be a skirt girl, but I'm more of a trouser. So I don't, I don't love them. I don't love them with this particular outfit, but I wanted to see whether they go with trousers. And I think, I think they're okay actually. I've just also tried on. This is a shearling version of the bar jacket. Pockets on the front. It's kind of like suede on on the outside. That is it. I don't love it. I mean it's very warm but it's it's just okay, but I thought I'd show everyone. And this, for anyone who's interested, there's the um, the product code and price. So uh, um, a couple of weeks ago, 
Wapa. <laughs> no, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had one of you who asked me, next time you're in Dior, can you please show us the bobby bag? Now I've asked Anne Lee, I'm putting Anne Lee's details below because for anyone who wants anything, Anne Lee can hook you up with anything mail order and he's really good, so I'll put his details below. I'm gonna go around and have a look, but before I do, I've just clocked some other bags, so I'm gonna show you them. Saddle bag. Here we've got another one. This is the uh, Ultra Matte. This is really nice. I think this is the beigey colour with a pink strap. Anne Lee, you're, you're, you're looking good. You're looking good. So, is this a smaller size? This is the smaller size. The oh, okay. Bag, yeah. It's a new bag from Mira Grazia. And you've probably seen it all over social media and all yeah. over the magazines. This is nice. And, and really I think sweet. it comes in brown comes, and cream. It comes in black. brown, cream and black as well. Okay. Um, side. It's Very delicious. nice. It's quite similar actually to that 30 Montaigne, isn't it? Slightly, this bit, yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Should I give it a quick try? The bi I saw the big one, it's really big, isn't it? Is it yeah, yeah. It's a good size for your... For your stuff. And the smaller one is 2700. That's lovely. So it's like yeah, it's finished same size. It's a finished different the box leather, but it's yeah. really nice with the white with the gold hardware. It's really nice. Yeah. So for for the person who asked to see a closer look up, or like I hope that this has helped you. And I'll, and Lee, I'll, I've just said I'll put your details below. Sure. So <laughs> for anyone who's like, can I have something? Because <laughs> actually, it's quite handy now because I can't be bothered to go out. That looks really good on you. Me? Yeah. I think this could also work really well as a guy's bag. It does come in a bigger version. So with guys, I mean, you can... Yeah. Like yeah. The 30 Montaigne embossed, like the 30 Montaigne. Yeah, on the back. I'll try and zoom into that so you can see. So for anyone who wants a fresher, newer um, design, and, and there's a big one, but this is like, if I was gonna get it, I'd get this size, I think. Do you know there's definitely something up with this camera because it's making everything a funny shade. Ooh. We're gonna go and have a look in, I think Chanel. You know how it goes. I'm gonna film what I can, which might not be enough, or I might be able to sneak quite a bit in. The mirror. <laughs> David's like, the mirrors in here make you look really thin. I think it's so that when you put the outfit on, you're like, I look amazing. I'm going to buy it. Guys, I'm seriously doing my best here. That's quite nice. I like that with the skirt under it. It's really nice. 6,000. Two, four, four, three. Oh look, it's a pink version of the bag that I got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you quite like the boy bags. I filmed what I could in Chanel, which I hope you like that footage. It is freezing around here. I'm gonna go now and look at the shoes because I kind of already know what I want. And um, 
then I think probably by that point I'll need to go to the hairdresser. I've just come to shoe heaven and there's also cake heaven. No, it's not called that. All oh, these look really good. Oh, look, there's Portuguese, Portuguese custard tarts. Oh my God, I could eat this right now. Do we have time? Probably not. Nice. This is nice. You got 45 minutes because it takes you 15 minutes to do it. David has just given me this footage that he took on his phone and I'm so pleased because I had no clue he was filming. Um, that's why I was a bit kind of juddery, but um, it gives you a bit of an idea. So I'd gone into Chanel because I was looking to replace my trainers and also see these boots here. These have been really big from what I've seen this uh, autumn winter and I tried on the beige pair that you can see. Now, I didn't actually get them because I really liked them. But as you'll see in a minute, I think from the colour of them, for me at least, they'd be quite hard to style because I don't actually have a bag that's the same colour as them. And also, I tend to wear dark trousers and they kind of break my leg. At, um, do you know what I mean? They kind of break up the leg at a weird point, so I didn't end up getting them. And after that, I went to the hairdresser before going back to Harrods again. So just some quick uh, visuals here of the hairdresser. I'm back. I've had my hair done. Normally it closes here at nine, and I thought it was still closing at nine, but I found out it closes at seven, and it's like 20 to seven, and I still need to go and get, is it on this level? No, it's where the dressing gowns are and stuff. Where is it at? Technology's five, that's where the camera is. Um, Isn't it here, bed and bath? I think it is here, yeah. bed and bath. And they moved it. Okay, let's go, let's go. So we've come here because um, we're buying some birthday presents for, oh wow, look at that. Colours, nice colours. And the white company, I really like it actually. Um, I love, I do really like this area, it feels very calming. Do you think that? Oh my god, that bed. Oh god, I nearly fell over the... <laughs> I know, his nurse. I think a large and a small, but then with a robe, is it nice to have it sort of slightly baggy? Now, for, do we get two white robes? Or white and... The white would get stained really badly. Or gray for his and hers? Um, oh, there's only two left. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is nice. So we, we got the thing that we needed, you know, all the items. In White Company. We're just gonna go up to technology because I need to get a new camera. And today, uh, there's a, a book to 10% off day with that reward, you know, the rewards card thing. If I can get the camera at 10% off, I'd be pleased at that. Oh, there they are. Oh, that was easy. Canon. I don't know. Oh, here we go, Canon. Here we are, outside the Harrods car park. Just waiting for it. It's a really nice street, this. much Ooh. okay everyone we are gonna go home now and uh, it's actually been really nice to come out today though and actually um, do something that isn't just sitting at home working do I have everything I'm dying of thirst you should what have got I a water from that, that sandwich was really salty. I didn't get that. What you got? Mm. What did you get? Chicken Caesar salad. Yeah. And it was really um 
hot to anchovy. I mean, not hot, you know what I mean. I think I have a water in here. Yeah. Thank you. Life saver. I just think it's like really orange, but anyway. Okay, everyone, gotta go. Bye, see you. Um. See you, don't wanna be you? That's I'll, me. I'll probably come back and talk to everyone in a bit. What, see you, I no, don't like wanna be tomorrow. you? No, like tomorrow. All right. <laughs> go on. Bye. We're gonna watch Sophie drive. Oh, oh it's sold. Can you not? <laughs> I'll watch Sophie drive for a bit. Just go around him, Bubs. You're in that sort of mood. What mood? Where you should be driving. Why? Do this. No, Do I'm that. not. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs>everyone i'm very casual today because i've been working today and now it is coming up to six o'clock and i'm gonna go and um, work out so i've just changed into my kind of um, gym clothes but before i did that i thought i'd come and catch up with you because the harrods bit of this video was actually a few days ago now and i've got some things to tell you about i've got some mail from you guys i've got one two four letters from Canada, the US, Italy, I've got a few of them, so I'm gonna read them. And yeah, just really quickly, so Harrods, the reason why I'm not gonna show you just yet what I bought is because one of the things that I bought, I actually don't have yet because they didn't have it in stock. So I'm waiting to get that and then I'll come back and show you. The shopping situation in there, as I think you're gonna be able to see from the footage, the shopping situation in there was really quiet and but it wasn't just quiet in terms of not many customers it was quiet with not many staff and i know that harrods have laid off a load of staff and this whole thing is really really concerning and upsetting about people's jobs and the the financial impact of all this and it was it was really sad to see but it was pretty in some of the concessions it was quite thin on the ground with staff and yeah not many customers they're also closing so they normally open in the week 10 until 9 but i think for recent weeks i don't know months i'm not sure but it's the, it's been like sunday hours so it's been 11 until 7 that they're opening so that's why in that bit of the video i didn't actually i forgot to film having my hair done but it's boring anyway um but you got <laughs> you saw i had my hair done um but after we finished at the hairdresser it was, we ran back to Harrods and it turned out that it was closing and I still had to go and get birthday presents for people. That's why there was a bit of a rush towards the end there. But yeah, generally it was a nice day out. We haven't actually, in whenever we've been going to Harrods, we haven't eaten there at all, only because when we are going there, we're a bit short of time and we kind of just wanna like go in, get stuff done, come home kind of thing. So um, anyway, um, so yeah and the blue gloves that you saw me wearing i wasn't going around the store with those uh that is like a chanel policy in harrods i don't know if it's a chanel policy elsewhere but you have to wear the blue gloves um and that's what that was about so anyway onto your mail and for anyone who's new or you don't know what this is so it's kind of turned into a thing some of you write to me and i read out your mail and it's I really I feel like it's quite a nice way of engaging with you and I really hope that in the videos I've been doing for the past couple of months I'm trying to um, engage with you all a lot more by if you ask me a question kind of making a video all around your question and kind of making the video quite about you I hope you've liked that anyway this is another way also where you can get involved the first letter is this and this came through the other day and I read it and it's the nicest card. This is kind of like a 3D overlay that's been cut over it and it says, thank you so much. This is from Nina. Listen to this. This is, I, I read it and I really liked it. Dear Sophie, I'm writing to you from Washington DC to thank you for the happy videos. Since February, our world has changed forever and all the negative news has made everyone on edge and like the mood has been really somber. The notification bell on your video has been something that I really look forward to. I really wish you would post more videos. And I know, and I've missed quite a few recently because um, thank God, I'm so grateful, but my work's still good. And it has meant that I haven't had the time to um, 
edit many videos because some of you know that I try and block film as much as I can at the start of each month and then it allows me to have life and work you know what I mean um but I just haven't had the time to kind of edit so that's why I've missed a few I like going shopping with you and seeing what I ordered or what I bought from stores just because we're all somewhat stuck at home doesn't mean we shouldn't dress nicely your videos give me some sense of normality and hope. You've gone to say that you particularly like it when I do videos that have David, my husband, in them. Or I think you saw the video that we did for Christmas last year um, where he given me that a, a gift of a bag which still blows me over now. I was not expecting that and it was a really nice gift. As a single woman who refuses to settle and marry just for the sake of marrying, it's comforting to know that there are happy couples who respect, support and spoil each other. So your marriage really delights me. I wish you both excellent health and continued success. Warmest wishes, Nina. Such a lovely card. I love reading from you. You have no clue. I feel like on here, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I feel like on here, there's such a nice community. And I love seeing as well in comments, whenever one of you is going through something in your life where you have a question about a product or just anything, you will chip in and help each other or have each other's backs and um, you know say to someone, oh, I, I've been through that before and you'll kind of come through okay. And it's so nice. It's such a nice civilized, um, place to be and I always wanted my channel to be somewhere somewhere where you can just come and chill out and you can say what you want in the comments and you're not going to get attacked for it and I love that that's the kind of place that it is because some of you are like oh I don't like that bag but I was worried that if I said that in the comments that someone would have a go at me and I've always encouraged your opinions on stuff like that because at the end of the day it's just a bag or it's just a pair of shoes it doesn't really matter and you're as entitled to your opinions as someone who does like it and I just love the way that there's that kind of mutual understanding and and um it's just very nice there and likewise when you write to me it's really nice as well the next letter is from Sylvia in Italy and Sylvia has written a nice message as well so Sylvia said let me tell you you are just brilliant there is something very refreshing about the way that you present yourself. So refined and yet relatable and down to earth. You inspire me and your channel upon which I recently stumbled is mainly focused on fashion, but I love that too. The best part is when you talk about your journey, motivation, discipline, ambition, and hard work. The vision board idea you've written in capital letters, game changer. How creepy is that? That actually works. That whole vision board thing works. I'm currently undergoing a major life change and after many months of stagnation, I needed, to fo I needed focus, clarity and a little encouragement more than ever. I'm 27 years old and I got my MSc in biomedical engineering two years ago. At the end of 2019, I left my corporate job in Italy to follow my dreams, to work abroad in another industry and no longer in IT. Don't get me wrong, that job gave me solid foundations, yet it, was not, you, it wasn't something you were excited about. Here's the bit that I'm, you're already highly intelligent to be a bi biomedical engineer, but here's the other thing. So Sylvia speaks Italian, English, and she's learnt German, and she's moved to Germany, and it makes you trilingual. This task has made a massive change and I've decided that I need to take a break from work and achieve this challenging goal. Additionally, when I started studying, I was still working, but that did not work out. My brain was too busy and too tired to retain a whole new language. My dream job would be in Germany and Switzerland. And I believe in my English is good enough. Definitely your written English is perfect, by the way. If not more to work, but also as a person, I'm deeply interested in being culturally integrated so i can see myself living there in the long term you also say that you set yourself a lot of goals that you have wanted to hit before 30 and you've said like you i've always had in mind goals to achieve before that age and slowly but surely i'm getting there thank you for talking in your videos about how important education is that's what i've always thought too next on my list is you want to get an MBA and you then say in the near future, I'd love to get my dream job and hopefully meet a sweet soul just like you found David. 
you want to work you want to also work your way up together with that partner i heard about subscriber mail times and i had to participate i've always loved handwritten letters i'm very romantic and old-fashioned in that way i do love technology i have it by my side every day but it's good to take time out and handwrite a letter and it makes it feel kind of more personal oh what a lovely letter oh also you said about that video i did on affordable bags you recommend the furla metropolis i really like furla and in that video i was like i forgot to mention that brand i really like their designs such a nice letter and do you know what's really interesting is this year's been a stinker i mean it's been awful and i i back in march i was kind of longing for the end of the year because naively i thought oh once the first of january hits all this will be behind us and 2021 will be fine and i'm worried that it's probably not going to be uh but what's really interesting is i think i said in that last video where i did mail time that i feel although i don't want to admit that this year has been good in any way because i've really hated it so far um i think this feels to me like a year to do all those things that we've always wanted to do and we've put off because we've been too busy doing other things and like what sylvia was saying in terms of like learning a new language kind of working out where you want your life to be and moving in that direction and actually making some really big life changes with sylvia with you moving to germany changing the whole kind of job that you were doing before one of you also in that last mail time said a similar thing that you were moving abroad from estonia uh, i think that was lena actually wrote that and lena you were saying it's probably the wrong time to do it but i just feel like it's now or never i'm gonna move i'm gonna change jobs and doesn't it feel like a weird year for that it really does and even from the point of view of me and my family and my husband it's been a year where so far it's forced me to think about things that um it's not that i didn't want to think about before it's just that i just didn't really have any time to think about before and one of them has been um quality of life really because myself and my husband when you when you run your own show kind of thing with work it, although yes in principle you had you're in control of your own time and you can get up at 10 if you want and you can go to bed at 2 if you want you know the reality is you end up working more hours than you do when you've got uh like when you're employed because you're constantly um you've got that pressure of having to pay for the bills and sometimes when you when you work for yourself in my experience anyway sometimes you'll go through a phase where financially you will be doing hugely and then you'll go through a dry phase and that's kind of what it's like i mean and i knew that before i um before i started doing it you do end up in this kind of constant cycle of working and when you're not working i personally feel guilty because i'm like well i'm doing okay at the moment but what if there's a dry spell and i better make hay while the sun shines kind of thing um and this year has changed me i'm still obviously working but i'm actually taking a dedicated two days off a week which i wasn't doing before i was using my saturdays and my sundays for youtube now i'm a lot more organized with that where i'm condensing unless i'm vlogging all of these videos where i sit down i'm trying to like work out what i'm doing film them all within one to two days at the beginning of each month edit them as and when and it's given me a it's freed up my time so this year i guess in that way has been quite good with my routine this letter is from karen and i think karen karen is in canada dear sophie my name is karen and this is my first time writing i love watching your videos because there's something relaxing about them and i first came across your channel through a reddit thread when i was doing some research on what to buy as my first luxury handbag at the time i was interested in buying the pochette matisse or the alma bb but i ended up getting the ysl medium sunset bag very nice I feel like this is the only evening bag I'm ever going to need for the rest of my life. Because of you, I created my first vision board last week. Another one of you doing the vision board. It's creepy, but it works. And actually what you're going to say is exactly how I feel about it. Because listen to this. So Karen says she created her vision board and then you always felt that they were kind of corny. My words exactly. They feel cringe. It feels very, um, what's the word? It feels just a bit stupid, doesn't it? Oh, go and print out some pictures of the things that you want, but it works. I've been doing it 
since 2007 and it and it works and I still have in an old file of facts in my office I've still got written down all the things that I first wrote down in that year because I got told about it and I was like oh whatever I'll just do it so I wrote down all these things and you would be amazed everything has come true and I was I was thinking big at that time I was like this is where I want to be in my life and in the back of my mind I thought because I wrote the ages next to it like at this age I want to be here and when I did it I remember thinking this is kind of ambitious but I'm just going to roll with it and it worked so you say that you feel like it's corny but it kind of keeps you hopeful about traveling which you love to do me too missing that a lot this year um, your last trip was to Spain, which is where I purchased my YSL bag and with the VAT return plus it being purchased in Spain I saved 700 Canadian dollars This is another reason why I want to go back to Europe um, And you've got to say this leads me to a question What are your thoughts on the Dior guitar straps? I agree with you They are expensive and sadly that one that really speaks to you is the black I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce this right, Macron, which, and I think I know the one you mean, is it kind of, it's not fabric, it's woven strips of leather, which actually I think is earlier in this video, I think that's it, could be wrong, and you go on to say the problem is, that one's the most expensive, and that's why I think it is that, because I've seen that one, and it's like crazy money, I mean they all are for what they are really, but that one really is. To go along with it, I would love to own a saddle flat belt pouch. These are both on my vision board and since it will take me months before I own them, I thought I'd write to you for a response. I really like the Dior guitar straps um, and I do use mine a lot because I feel that they, even if you, um, let's say, you use it on a Lady Dior. If, for example, you like the Lady Dior, but it's a little bit too kind of elegant, or some of them can look quite mature, if you kind of want to edge it down, I feel like the guitar straps do that quite nicely. Um, personally, what I would do is, um, I think that now is the time to consider pre-loved, especially for Chanel, because their prices have gone up to the level that they are. But with Dior, it, whenever I've looked for the guitar straps pre-loved. They keep their money. They're, in fact, there's no point in buying them secondhand because the ones I've seen, some of them are more expensive than if I just go and buy one. I did see some at Bista Village. I mean, this isn't gonna help you because you're in Canada. And actually, the, they weren't the ones you want anyway. If you want it, then, and if it's not going away in your mind, save, save, save and buy it because, you know, Life is short, I hate the saying, but it kind of is. Um, you could also look on pre-loved websites. I think that if you want the saddle flat belt, have a look on pre-loved sites as well. So I, I have been considering buying a saddle bag that's black for the longest time, but I can't quite bring myself to spend the money on a new one and I quite like the vintage ones because the vintage ones you can get silver hardware with and I kind of prefer that so I'm what I am stalking I'm waiting my time to kind of buy one and I've got loads saved and I'm just waiting for the right time but maybe if you want the belt try and get the belt pre-loved for a discount and then maybe use the money that you've saved towards the guitar strap I do think that there will come, I do think they're very Maria Grazia Churi and I think that there will come a point where a bit like the Galliano stuff, it will either turn kind of a bit iconic or it will just um, be phased out but we're a long way off that yet so just in case that's the reason why you're thinking shall I buy it or not, I think they're worth going for and maybe unless you really love that one that you're, you've got your eye on, maybe get one of the fabric ones because they are a bit cheaper. Um, sorry, I digress. You've put, anyway, I feel that we both are similar when it comes to being at a point in our careers where we're both satisfied with our pay what we, and what we're doing for a living. I had a bunch of crummy jobs in the past from a telemarketer, a pizza maker, flower arranger and a dusty warehouse. And now I've got a great job and I work as a yoga teacher and I manage a yoga studio on the side. It does take years to get to a place of contentment, which is why I love your channel so much. 
I appreciate your journey and what you own is well deserved as it comes from working hard. I also love your mail time, so please keep on doing them. I'm usually snacking on chips or snacks while watching them. They're so comforting and relaxing. I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you for taking the time to read my letter, Karen. Karen, such a nice letter. And again, do you see what I mean? I feel like with all of us, those of you who write to me and those of you who comment, I feel like that we're a like-minded group of people where we have um, a, a, an interest in, in this luxury stuff, but everyone's kind of working hard and on their, on their path, on their journey to something. And it's really, really nice. I've got one more letter. This is from the UK, actually. This is from Alicia in Warwickshire. And you've put that I can read this on the channel. And you've put, it's been bloody years since I wrote a letter. Me too, when I started writing back to you all by hand, I actually, this is stupid. I was handwriting back and I've done this a few times and there, there's like a word that I'm, I'm thinking, oh, how do you spell that? And I think, oh, I'll just write it because the red line will appear underneath if it's wrong. How crazy is that? And I'm like, no, it won't because I've handwritten it. And it's, you've, I've got so used to typing that <laughs> you forget. But anyway, um, dear Sophie, I'm writing to you to say a massive thank you. I'm 25 years old, I'm a nurse and I've spent the entirety of this god awful pandemic working on a COVID ward. I have to say that this has truly been the most arduous, overwhelming and draining time in my life lost thus far. I found your channel by chance whilst trying to distract myself on YouTube. And I have to tell you that your channel has been the most welcome distraction in my life. I'm honored and also hats off to you for the job that you do and for anyone watching who works in in these kind of roles thank you for, i think from everyone because um it's really appreciated i have always craved the finer things in life however the path i've chosen is far from glamorous and certainly does not give me an income to buy all of the things that a girl can desire but having dis but having discovered your channel i now live vicariously through you and i adore listening to you talk about bags and fashion it truly gives me the break that I need from my own life. You are such a beautiful person inside and out and I could listen to you speak all day. I'm now the proud owner of a gorgeous secondhand Coach Charlie bag. I love Coach. Their stuff is really, really good. And I'm gonna continue to work hard and one day I may reward myself with a Gucci or maybe even a Chanel bag. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for being there at this dreadful time. All my love, Alicia. A very tired nurse oh Alicia thank you I thank you again the job you do for anyone who works in medical I know I'm gonna sound really silly but I don't know how you do the blood and guts I was watching has anyone been watching the full on Netflix recently the bit at the end where the killer I'm not gonna go into details in case you want to watch it it's very good um, it's got Gillian Anderson in it and it's really good but at the end it gets a bit gory where he goes into hospital and even though I know that's makeup I was just looking at it and I was like how do you do that I couldn't even look at it and I'm not even that squeamish but there was a bit where he was being sick and that and I, I, I and they're like suctioning it and I just thought hats off to people that do that because I don't know how you do it so they are all of your letters this video is probably quite long now and anyone who's still with me well done to you for still watching if you're kind of watching this and you're thinking i'd quite like to write i'm gonna put my p.o box details below if some of you when you write to me you don't want it to be read out on camera and that's totally fine so just write me a note on the letter to say don't read this out if you don't want it read out. Um, to those of you who wrote to me and I read out your mail in the last mail time, I have not written back to you yet because I write essays to everyone. <laughs> um, and I started writing back and I've not got to the end of that list or, or the end of your card yet. So if you're still waiting to hear from me, that's why I haven't forgotten you. I've actually got like my inbox on my desk is where all of this goes and then I write back to people. But thank you all again for watching.